Continuing our conversation about networks, there is a concept that is important to know and understand, and it's quite easy to understand too, and that's called encapsulation. On the left side I have my seven layers of the OSI reference model. On my right side I have a representation of a data package in each of these layers. So when somebody, uh, when a host A is sending a message to host B, the data starts from the application layer and goes all the way down to the physical layer and then is transmitted to the physical layer to the other host or the next host. So at the beginning, in the application layer, you have only the data. Then the, then the data goes down one layer to the presentation layer and that layer adds to the original data its header or presentation header. That's an extra chunk of data that is added to the package with different information from each layer. When it goes to the session, the session adds its own header. The transport adds its own header, the network its own, and the data link its own, and then that is transformed and sent in the physical medium. So you can see that um, each layer adds its bits of, and pieces of information to the package. And when this package ar arrives to the destination or to the next host, um, well, if, if, if the next host is not the destination, it's just um, sent to the next one until it reaches destination, and then it goes its way up through the seven layers again. And when it goes up, each of these headers gets removed from its corresponding layer. And this is called data encapsulation. Now, as you can see here, we're going to talk about the TCP IP reference model. Uh, this, like I said in the previous video, is the current standard model used today. The OSI level is really not used. Now, the TCP IP reference model is simpler, it has only four layers, and again, these layers were created after the protocols were implemented and created. So the protocols came first, and then they kind of defined the layers. So we have the network access layer, which is really equivalent to the uh, physical layer in the OSI, and specify the procedures for transmitting data across the network and including how to access the physical medium. So it's, it's similar to, I would say it's a combination between the data link and the physical of the OSI, okay? The protocols that are in place are Ethernet, Token Ring, and all these different network protocols. The next one is the internet layer, which is responsible for addressing transmission and packet fragmentation and reassembly. The internet layer, um, if, uh, experts agree, is really very similar and equivalent to the network layer in the OSI. So here is where really uh, you have your IP protocol, with the internet protocol, which is in charge of uh, directing packages across the internet. Okay, And then you have also different um, protocols that as you can see. Then we have the transport layer which manage all aspects of data routing and delivery including se session initiation and error control and also se uh, sequencing checking. So this is very important the transport layer again very similar to what the transport layer in the OSI reference model does it's in charge of all this and for that it has two protocols two major protocols the TCP and the UDP. Now the TCP or the transport control protocol is an orient it's a connection oriented protocol connection oriented protocol this means that from end to end you know the data is re is sent reliable uh, with re reliability and with different controls and checks and then we have the UDP protocol which is the user data datagram protocol which is connectionless oriented so it's not connect it doesn't establish a connection and so those acknowledgement packages uh, doesn't circulate so much as with the TCP. Now this UDP protocol is useful for applications where speed is essential, like for example live video. And uh, again I talked about this in the previous video. Now the next layer is the application layer and this layer is really handles everything else and uh, in, uh, it performs the jobs of the OSI presentation layer, okay? 
and uh, also part of the session layer. So, and the protocols that this application layer has are HTTP, FTP, Telnet, SNTP, and DNS. So as you can see, although the TCP IP reference model and the OSI model seems to kind of have things in common, the differences are also clear, as I mentioned before. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for watching.